Hi, today I want to talk about seven skincare things that might help you, um, tips that will help you look after your skin and your body for the future. So the first one I want to chat about is if you have to soothe inflammatory skin, have you got rosacea or acne, rosy cheeks or a highly sensitized skin, then you want to be using anti-inflammatory ingredients in your skincare. This protective barrier on the outside surface has got a pH of 5.5, which is acidic. You need to be using pH balancing skincare products to keep that intact. It is acidic so that it protects your skin against airborne pollution and germs and bacteria. Okay, so look for anti-inflammatory ingredients and something that's going to be pH balancing and also no harsh chemicals, no harsh ingredients that are going to strip it down. You don't want to strip the oil that you're producing that's making up this protective barrier down. Look after this protective barrier. Number two, remove your makeup. I'm going to talk about this till God knows when, but the most important thing is I see lots and lots of skin problems because people don't remove their makeup and they go to sleep and they leave the chemicals, the bad chemicals and the makeup agents on their skin and the next day their skin, you wake up and it's screaming and it's sensitised. So a good way and a good tip to think about is as soon as you get in the door, as soon as you get in the door, take off your makeup and then double cleanse your skin. Then you've got this fresh clean canvas then to apply your serums, your eye creams, your moisturisers to and that's going to allow them to do their job and the next day your skin is going to love you for it. It's going to wake up, you're going to wake up and your skin's going to be feeling great. Okay, so remove your makeup. So use clever exfoliators. So AHAs means alpha hydroxy acids. And simply put, alpha hydroxy acids are water soluble ingredients such as glycolic acid, lactic acid, citric acid. Now these have a nice effect on the skin because they unglue, they melt the bonds that hold the dead skin cells together on the outside surface layer of your skin. And we use these products or products including these AHAs, they're going to slough the dead skin off and it's going to come off the skin, making the skin smoother and clearer and fresher looking. Yes, and smoother. <laughs> How good is that? Another one to think about is a BHA, which is a beta hydroxy acid. Beta hydroxy acids are oil soluble, and this is a really good ingredient, salicylic acid, for those of us with open pores or an oily skin. It's going to help normalize that, right? So a beta hydroxy acid, namely salicylic acid, cleans out the pore, dissolves the oil and makes the pores look more refined and just makes your skin look much better. So thinking about using AHAs and a BHA that's going to absolutely exfoliate your skin and make it look fresher, younger and smoother looking. Okay, clever exfoliating. Avoid the sun. <laughs> you know keep shouting about it but the sun causes 80% of aging so do you want lines do you want wrinkles do you want hyperpigmentation do you want age spots go outside without a sunscreen or you know worse than that skin cancer if you want any of these things don't wear sunscreen but you want to look after your skin you want to look after your skin health you must wear a sunscreen daily before you go outside so Apply a sunscreen daily to the bits of the face and neck and decollete and the hands that are on show. Even if your arms are on show, you've got to be putting the sunscreen on. Any bit of the skin and body that's on show, put sunscreen on before you go out the door. That's a massive thing to do and that's going to keep you healthy. Yes, it is. Or you can wear sunglasses as well and a big hat or all together, I would say, all together. Use great moisturisers. You know, now is the time to invest in that good moisturiser. It's a proven fact when you use moisturisers, your skin is going to look younger. It's going to keep the moisture content that you produce yourself intact. And that's really, really key there. As we get older, we lose our own natural moisturisers. So this is especially 
important for those of us as we get older you have to ensure you're really spending the dosh on the moisturizer a good way to think is if you've got dry to normal skin put on a lightweight moisturizer first right it might contain mainly hyaluronic acid and let that fully absorb and then use an oil lipid type moisturizer on top to seal it all in and to keep it that's a good way to think about it but it's okay to use two moisturizers i'm all for that if you've got dry to normal skins okay so get that moisturizer habit that good one eat healthily this is the story that i talk about about the pot of soup so you are what you eat and so your skin will show it so thinking about that pot of soup you're making for your family because you want them to build strong healthy cells so do you put in just a stick a chicken stock cube and a little bit of salt one carrot now one onion into this big pot and make it full of water and then you're giving that to the family you wouldn't do that would you so what you're going to do is you're going to put lots of vegetables in lots of carrots lots of onion lots of leeks lots of good veg into that pot to make this soup because you know the more veggie more veggies you put in the more antioxidants and the better for your family's health it's the same for the skin that's what you're doing okay so eating healthily taking as many antioxidants into the body as you can in the form of vegetables five a day and fruit two a day you have to be thinking that way now and doing that you'll it will reap dividends in your body health it will um one thing i want to tell you about as well regarding the body your body yes it's all about eating healthily but thinking about dairy i have personally an intolerance to lactose and i found that out years ago so the issue with dairy is it is hard for some of us to digest it really is and sometimes if you overeat dairy it can come out in cystic acne on your jawline on this area here on your chin and that's because you ate too much dairy because your body cannot digest the dairy so if that's you try cutting the dairy out and see what happens and um, because your skin's function is to protect the body but it also is to excrete as well and take out the waste toxins and the other thing as well is when you eat a lot of dairy it's really mucus forming and that's how it can show on the face so be careful you can see this a lot in those of us who like the gym and we can take a lot of milk products in the form of um, you know drinks to help us build up muscle protein shakes and there's too much milk in the shake or whatever and that can cause an acne flare-up so thinking about that dairy thing have a good sleep okay this is true beauty sleep is a fact not a myth okay so when you get the seven to eight hours sleep a night your skin is going to love you in the morning you really have to be thinking that i also like this analogy about um the mind it's like a computer so when you get your seven to eight hours sleep it's like rebooting the computer and processing all the information that you've given it that day so the next day when you wake up your mind is fresh and ready and your skin is looking and feeling great a good tip i've got is invest in one of these <laughs> this is a pro tip at the end of the video get a fitbit if you haven't because i think this is an amazing little gadget so you can look on your phone and see what your sleep patterns like you can make sure you make adjustments in your eating your hydration levels all to keep you performing at your best okay so think about the fitbit put that on the the christmas list now <laughs> hope that was informational to you please if you've got any questions about your skin put them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to me and you can always email me if you've got any issues that you can't get an answer to about your skin email me at joan at have a great week bye